hey guys welcome back to another brand new google cloud videos in today's video we are going to talk about google container registry yeah you heard it right gcr in this video i'm going to show you a step by step and i have got the hands on as well for you i have already a project created so therefore i am not going to create but if you want to go for it so from the search box that you see on the top we can type in container registry or container the name will pop up so then we can see container registry is already popped up so we're gonna click on that this is going to take you straight to the container registry then another way from the navigation click on those three hamburger sign icon and then look for CICD and in this action you are going to find container registry either way you are going to land on this page so what is a container registry I already talked about what is container registry in my previous videos but if you are new to my videos I'm gonna still explain so container registry is basically a storage where you are going to store your docker images okay so this definition says that Google container registry provides secure private docker registry storage on google cloud platform you can use gcloud to push images to your registry then you can pull images using an http endpoint from any machine whether it's a google computer engine or your own hardware so in this case it's just your local computer or any other machine so simply put container registry is a place where you can store your images click on settings and then we can see scanning and public access features are available right here so if you look at the public access so we can see that you can make the image under a container registry host accessible to the public so if the image is public it means that anyone could pull the image without any authentication this project will still be cherished for cloud storage network users so for example if you don't have any to initialize a project i need to push an image to the registry so in the vulnerability scanning this is very important feature if you want to tighten your security features this is what you should be doing vulnerability scanning automatically scans docker images when they are pushed to the registry for known security vulnerabilities and exposures as new vulnerabilities are discovered it checks effect images that are in container registry scanning is provided by the container scanning api and coverage is currently limited to alpine centos debian red hat and ubuntu based images so i'm going to activate this feature you can just turn on and turn off just by clicking on that button okay so i'm going to also show you how you can enable and disable a particular api okay for your project so click on apis and services and right here in the search box write the api that you want to enable or disable for example if you do not remember you start with a keyword since our api is related to container so i started with container okay so that's how you can enable and disable an API so if I click on right here so it's going to disable and it's gonna say that okay do you want to disable and you're gonna say yes I want to disable and right after you can also enable so any APIs that you need to enable or disable you can just go to API and services library so let's say in our case it's going to be container registry so I'm going to search container registry and this suggested actually Google Container Registry API. On the left hand side you can see filter by which is very convenient way of filtering out the APIs that you are looking for. Okay click on IAM and admin and I'm going to show you something interesting. So this is basically a, a service account. So in my case you can see personal service account and here we need to actually give a couple of permission to continue our demo today so the storage admin we need to give permission for the storage admin okay so you can look for storage admin right here and if you scroll past a bit you will find storage admin which means that full control of gcs resources okay i need to click on this one because 
Google Container Registry actually store images on Google Cloud Storage. I'm going to show you in this in the demo section, but just wanted to let you know that you need to give the permission, otherwise it's not going to work. I'm going to create a branch for this video. And I'm also going to share the code in the video description. So the code is going to be posted on GitLab. So don't worry, you can get the link in the video description. So the branch is called GCR Demo. So in my Azure Container Registry video, I actually showed a Hello World demo for Node.js application. So into this video, I'm gonna take actually the same Hello World example. So first of all, I'm gonna create a folder called GCR and under that folder, I'm gonna create a couple of files. So app.js is basically for hello world application written in node.js. Just a couple of lines basically to keep the video short. And we will need also docker file to dockerize our application, right? And I'm gonna also create package.json file to, to keep the dependencies. So I'm gonna use node version 17. I think at the time of recording, this was the latest version. I'm using NVM and VM stands for Node Version Manager. So if you want to actually work with different versions of Node.js, you can install it on your computer, just download it and start using it. But people who are not interested in Azure, possibly they did not see the video. So I was thinking maybe I should do kind of like copy and paste and later on, after I finish copy and pasting, I'm going to explain to you what Dockerfile is doing and what app.js is doing. So pretty much everything I'm going to talk about, do not worry at all, okay? I'm going to also write the readme.md. So basically how to build the project and stuff like so. But before that, make sure that you have gcloud installed on your computer. The version I have installed on my computer is gcloud SDK 356. It comes with also with Vita, VQ, Core and GSUtil. GSUtil for Google Storage. Basically, if you want to copy and uh, upload some file to the Google Cloud Storage. In the future, I'm going to show you how you can use it with Cloud Shell. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use with gcloud, okay? So first of all, I'm going to list my projects right so i have got two projects and the project i'm going to set for this particular demo is going to be my personal project we need to also run the gcloud auth command because we want to push docker images right so i'm going to run gcloud auth configure docker right now you do not have to actually run it but you have to run it just before you push the image to gcr so as you can see, you have got different endpoints. Since I'm in Europe, so I'm gonna use eu.gcr.io. It is also good to know the limitations. So if you have a Docker image larger than five terabyte, you cannot push it. So the maximum image size can be five terabyte. And timeout is set to two hours. So if you push an image, right which is pretty large and it's not completed within two hours time frame in case you authenticate to container registry using an access token the token will expire after 60 minutes so if you expect your upload time to exceed 60 minutes use a different authentication method i will put the link in the video description for different authentication method so let us understand the docker file so docker file is going to pull an alpine image which is text as Alpine 314, a node image basically. And then our working directory within the container is going to be slash opt slash wave slash app. And we are going to copy JSON file to the working directory. And then after we copy, we are going to run on line number five and PMI, which is the I is the alias for install. So we're gonna install the dependencies, okay? And then within the container, we are going to expose the service to port 8080. And after we are gonna copy app.js file to the working directory and we're gonna run app.js at the end on line number eight 
which is gonna run our application right the npm version i'm using 8.4.1 and the node version as you have already seen 17.5.0 npm add is going to install all the dependencies listed in package package.json so we have installed the dependencies and package log.json file is generated and let us understand app.js the app.js file is has a couple of lines so we are using express and this this app is actually exposed to port 8080 okay so when i browse to my localhost on port 8080 is gonna respond to you with hello google container registry user so it's a very simple application the main purpose of this video is to show you how to build and push docker images to google container registry all right so here is the link i will also put the link in the video description so as i talked about the limitations so you can have a look at the upload time image size so i already covered this part but if you're interested you can go through this page and understand a bit more you know this is always good to understand the limitations of the tools that you are using so i'm going to run gcloud container images list as we have seen we have got no items in there because i did not have anything in my projects under container registry so therefore we have got zero items so let us begin with building the docker image so we run docker build minus t means tag our image by the name so you're gonna call it node underscore app f means the file docker file location we said that docker file located on current directory but which was not the case in this case you need to put the absolute path right or you just cd into that path where docker file is basically located successfully built the docker image didn't take that much time because the image is comparatively small our image is built so we can grab that particular image called node underscore app so if we run docker run and then grab that particular image then we can see information about that image so it was built one minute ago and the size of the image is 353 mb and you can see the id of that image next we will run docker tag command so docker tag command will take source image and then the destination going to be gca.io and then we need to follow this pattern by the project name followed by the project name forward slash and then the image and then colon you can put the tag of the image right so docker tag and then we are going to paste the image id that we have got from docker image uh, grep command right excellent so we can grab the project id from here or we can run also gcloud command to get the project id so we have got the eu.gca.io because we are in eu region so i'm going to use eu.gca.io endpoint forward slash personal which is the project id the project id we are using for this demo and the image is going to be node underscore app and i'm gonna put a tag with version one after we have successfully tagged the image we are going to push the image right so docker push and then the paste the target so target is eu.gca.io slash project id slash image name with the tag so this is not actually denying the push um, execution is because we have already authenticated if you remember gcloud auth the command we ran beforehand so this is why exactly you need to run if you have not run it before okay to authenticate to the gcr so if we refresh the page we can see node app underscore node underscore app is already available right we have already pushed successfully the docker image and if we click in there we can see we have got the tags v1 and we can see also the virtual size this is actually the compressed size of the image so once you push the image the container registry itself actually compresses the image this is why you can see there is a huge difference like 300 
53 to 100 something and in the um, scanning result you can see nothing has been found suspicious so everything looked good and in the pool section you can see what command actually you need to invoke to pull the image from GCR okay so if you click on the ellipses you can also see some some of, some of the shortcut like docker pool how you can also pull particular digest and the good thing is that this has a very good integration with our services like cloud run gke or gce so you could directly deploy this particular image to cloud run for example so if you click on settings you can see in public access section the image was set to private right so if you wanted to switch back to public you could just click on public so it's up to you whether you want to make your image private or public so that one i'm going to show you is the cloud storage so cloud storage you can see there is a bucket created for us and in this bucket we have got images so when you push docker image right to gcr container registry behind the hood google will actually push the image objects to cloud storage so basically the images are actually stored right here so the permissions you can change you can set to private public whatever you want you can set the period you can turn off turn on versioning as well it's up to you right got the images stored the objects are basically stored in on google cloud storage and here you can see the file size type of type when it was created the storage class public access version history right a lot more information you can see here so if you click on here public url not available authentication url you can see the url there public access not public and if you want to download for example you could just click on download in the version history you can see the objects which are basically version under version control here the bucket is created for you automatically and it tells you it's the multi-region stuff when was last modified public access access control is a fine grained you can set pretty much a lot of stuffs right there remember in the service account we have given a storage admin permission this was the main reason because gcr behind the hood will create the bucket for us and it's gonna store the image objects on cloud storage this is why it requires the needed permission i have also documented all the commands that i have actually used during this demo and they can be found on readme.md file before i finish this video i'm going to push this code on gitlab.com so i'm gonna run git status and i can see there is a new folder called gcr so i'm going to add all the files all the files that were generated for this demo to gcr so i forgot to also create docker ignore file in the previous video i showed you but these are like minor stuffs but it's still good to push it on the code repository so i'm gonna add them as well so gonna commit so i'm gonna call it gcr demo or something like that yeah let's call it gcr demo and i'm going to push because all of the changes i have already added to my index and i committed and i now pushed so here is the repository which is also public i made this repository public so that if anyone interested you can clone this repository and follow this video Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video is going to help you somehow. And if it does, do not forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know what topic would interest you on Google Cloud. So in the upcoming videos, I could prioritize and publish those videos first.